Hello, welcome to my channel again. This is Bhupesh. So today we'll be talking about another important topic about Grafana. Uh, I received a lot of queries how to send emails from Grafana. Mm. So I'll be telling today the very quick and uh, you know quick integration of Gmail so that you can send uh, all your alerts to your uh, you know, to your any mail box but using the Gmail server or kind of SMTP configuration. A quick recap: what you have done so far in the same Grafana pair playlist. Uh, we initially did Grafana setup, then we integrated with Jira so that tickets can be created directly to Jira. And then we had under understanding on from QL queries to understand the time series data. Then we saw uh, what kind of Grafana dashboards, how we can create it, what are the number of ways to create a Grafana dashboard on matrices. And then we saw how we can do a log aggregation with Grafana using Locky and Prompt Tail, the fifth video. Sixth one, how to create alert, the Grafana based alert and the alert manner based alert. In this video, and the seventh uh, last one was how to do tracing of applications, you know, application level monitoring using Grafana Tempo. And today we'll be discussing about how to do an email configuration setup using Google email. A pretty straightforward and pretty easy to do it. Okay, so let's get started in practical implementation of it. So I already have a, a GitHub page for you. So that I'll close this. So this is the GitHub page, uh, readme Grafana SMTP. So we'll be following this documentation to make it happen, right? So quickly jumping onto this. So suppose uh, you have an empty cluster here. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing in this. Okay, there are no pods in this. Cube will get pods in this metric chain. Okay? So first of all, we'll set up our uh, Prometheus or Cube Prometheus Grafana setup. We'll just run this command and it will install the Grafana, the Cube Prometheus popular stack from Google into the metrics namespace from repository basically, the Prometheus community repository. I'll copy this, I'll just do a quick install. Now this will install uh, Cube Prometheus stack Helm chart onto my correct metrics namespace with no values. Whatever default values are coming, it will get installed. And then, then we'll see what is happening, okay? So that will take, this will take around seconds or so to get it installed yeah it was quick so i'll just do a cube it'll get ports i'll see k get service i'll do a k port forward of grafana service let me see grafana is up and running or not So I'm installing it from scratch so that anybody can do it again. What this is really straightforward. Okay. Password is prom operator if anyone is not aware about it. So I'll come here. I'll come to the contact points and the notification policies. Checkpoint. I'll click Grafana and then I'll click. I'll just do a test whether my SMTP is working or not because I have not configured anything. It's a raw Helm chart basically. Okay, let me see. So it will this this message will come to your Grafana the moment you install it. SMTP is not configured. Check your Grafana INI, right? So now we will configure this piece, which is the important piece to understand, right? Now the next step, what I'll do. I'll just install the same Prometheus Helm chart or upgrade the same Prometheus Helm chart, but with this in SMTP values.ml file. Now, what is this values.ml file? If you see, I'm passing, if you concentrate on this, I'm passing uh, under Grafana NI uh, the SMTP related details. Enable true, this is the SMTP host server, basically Gmail server. This is my email ID. Now this password you can actually memorize, but I'll just show you how to create a token. This is not my password. This is actually a token, and then uh, you can use this token, uh, and then uh, yeah, prom will be this. Prom name will be Grafana. Now this is the Grafana based alerting SMTP configuration. Now suppose as I already mentioned that there are two kind of alerting. The alert manager level alerting also. So for the alert level manager alerting, you need to come to this alert manager section under receivers. Okay, you need to just the same configuration. You can simply copy paste this thing. Okay, no need to memorize it. I'll be pasting it this thing into the GitHub. So for both the kind of alerting, we need to set up SMTP. One is for Grafana based, another is for alert manager based. 
right so this is the value for tml file that i'll be using it for upgrading my Selm chart i'll copy this i'll again update my Selm chart so i'm upgrading my Selm chart with these additional values okay i'll just cancel this piece i'll wait dot i'll wait for that Selm chart to be you know, upgrade updated I think it will take another 30 seconds or so. Yeah, it was quick again. Okay. Now let me see the Helm chart has been updated or not. Yeah, it is a second revision, so this has been upgraded. Let me see the cube detail get parts. So Grafana has already been renamed. I mean, the new parts are created. Let me uh, create the alert menu parts also so that it can fix the latest uh, configuration. The SMTP configuration. I'll delete this. I'll do a cube title get parts. Yeah. So Grafan is already running. Alert man is coming up. So we'll just wait for a few more. Yeah, alert man is also up. I'll just get service. A port forward. Grafana again. Now this could be the new Grafana. Uh, I'll just do a again. We need to do a login again. From Operator. Now I'll come here, same place. I'll do contact point. So I'll come here. Then I'll again do a test email just to check whether my test is working or not. Perfect. It's taking some time to send the alert. Yeah, see, test alert sent. So we just have, we have successfully configured the mailbox using Gmail. I'll just check whether. I received an email also or not the test email. So you can see I received this test alert uh, Grafana email directly from my Grafana uh, URL. So we have already seen the creating tickets directly to Jira, but now we are checking, we are looking how to create tickets directly into your uh, Gmail or any other mailbox. Now this is something uh, from Grafana based alerting. Now you can see there are two kind of alerts. One is Grafana based alert, another is alert manner based alert. And I've already done the configuration for, if you come here, you see the alert manual configuration is also there. See, all this piece. Definitely the auth password is hidden. So I'll just see whether, is there any uh, firing alert? Yes, we have a firing alert. Watch out, so we should ideally get this also in our mailbox. Let me see. Yeah, see this also we came, it was came just zero minutes ago. You can see the time, yeah. So, yeah, in this fashion, you can get both alerts. So this is a Grafana based alert, and the second one is the alert manager based alert. See, you can see the difference. One alert for alert name, and this is coming from alert manager, and this is coming from Grafana based. As you already know, if you have not watched my earlier video, you can just quickly see what kind of alerting are there in Grafana. Perfect. So this is what we saw. Now, important and very important thing: how to get the token value. Okay, the token. From your any any gmail account so i'll show you how to get it you need to come here click on this manage your google account okay then go to security then you'll come here this two-step verification okay find you Come to the bottom there are there are app passwords you click here now this is the one that i created it today only okay you can generate like this mail and you can do some windows and then you can generate it like this and then you can copy this piece like this and then paste it like this right so this is how you need to do it so what i'll do i'll just complete do a done I delete these two so that you cannot use mine also right so yeah you're good to go so in this fashion you can generate this app password for any gmail account okay and yeah that is that is pretty much i want to explain uh from this uh, video i hope you like it a quick recap what we did we simply first of all we installed the cube primitive stack raw helm chart when we saw that we were getting errors when we were sending email, test email, then we installed this piece again. 
upgraded this Helm chart again with this SMTP values where we have given uh, two, this configuration two times one with Fana based alerting, another is alert manner based alerting. Okay, so yeah, I think that is pretty much. Let's quickly wrap up this video. If you, if you like this video on SMTP and you want what further actions to be, what further videos to be taken for Grafana specifically, please note down in the comments section. Do subscribe the channel. Okay, see you next time. Until then, goodbye. Stay tuned. Thank you.